Hello, I'm Eduardo Colombo, and we will talk about uh, smart destination. So let's start from uh, the new behavior of travelers. Uh, people are more and more and more used to travel while working and uh, working uh, while travel. This means that uh, there will be a new way to um, also to approach the tourism and some for seasonality, for instance, because there will be more and more the, the chance not only for digital nomads, but also for managers and people that uh, can have the chance to be connected to the office and have all the uh, information and data about uh, uh, the company and the business uh, in the cloud. So this means that will be a huge opportunity for, for tourism as there will be the chance to uh, improve also uh, destination, uh, small villages or places that are maybe now uh, more visited only in, in the season time or even not even in the season time. So this means that uh, there will be through the innovation, through technology, a huge opportunity for this. And also a new uh, behavior that we have uh, also lived in during the pandemic uh, was uh, has been the use of uh, QR code for uh, the ident identity, which is something that uh, has been uh, applied uh, as a standard uh, in the uh, whatever in, in more than eighty three countries, and this means that it can it will be uh, an enabler for different services, like uh, obviously for check in for for travelers and also to do new interaction, uh, not only uh, for contactless and touchless uh, uh, opportunity, it will be a way to present uh, a menu in a more creative uh, way, maybe with the real, uh, with virtual reality, augmented reality, and so uh, showing uh, the additions, showing also maybe all what is related to the uh, allergy, allergy, uh, allergics, sorry, and uh, and also uh, contactless will be used for doing uh, check-ins and check-in in hotel and uh, and different kind of different way of, of hospitality. Um, this is not only uh, something that related to contactless and touchless in terms of. Uh, changing the way of uh, the human touch. This is something related also to the behavior and to uh, the uh, attitude of uh, people that are using uh, uh, technology more and more. And so they are uh, trained to, to use uh, uh, chat, WhatsApp, um, whatever, to, to dialogue. And so this means that this special, especially for uh, young generation will be something that will be necessary to use, not uh, not the choice. And also bi biometrics uh, will be uh, a way to improve uh, identity, to, to ch check identity. And this means that uh, you can uh, apply this also to um, access to different places. And so this will be very important for, for tourism, uh, for the uh, for whatever experiences, uh, cultural experiences or or also access to obviously to transportation and uh, also uh, to improve new business model maybe related to the chance to to, to control that uh, a, a person has uh, maybe a visa uh, for a, a strict related a strict time uh, period of time so this means that you can be open to uh, give uh, to sell stopovers uh, this is uh, something that Will be very interesting for some some countries that maybe are not so interested so, so interesting but maybe they can uh, maybe offer different experience for uh, one day just to to wait the the, the flight uh, for uh, the, the connections for to another destination and uh, blockchain is something that will enable this and this is something that uh, opens to uh, new business model also to uh, maybe resell some there are some companies that are selling uh, thanks to blockchain uh, 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 um, something uh, maybe booked uh, and uh, maybe you have to change change the data you can sell your uh, uh, reservation to another customer and so this is something that will be very interesting because it's a way to um, put in contact peer-to-peer -peer 
uh, travels and uh, not having uh, the, an, an intermediate uh, uh, to 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 ask for and so this is very important even also to sell kind of experience related to specific period of time specific uh, uh, maybe uh, for a, a single for hours even and also to give insurances and to give uh, something also uh, access to uh, like uh, a fidelity card to to get points and to get uh, uh, a prize for a, a good behavior also and this is very important for uh, improving uh, and managing uh, flows of people maybe to give uh, uh, prizes to to good behavior maybe not to uh to be to crowd maybe the, the same places at the same time and also in terms of a souvenir which we will be this an example of uh, italy there was uh, there is still um a, a way to if you eat in a single restaurant and you they use eat the specific uh, plate of this restaurant and uh, you get uh, the, the the dish uh, for uh, for a souvenir to certify that you have uh, eat that plate and uh, and also payments are uh, changing are completely uh, open to new operators like not only banks and uh, credit cards and so this will create the circuits and, and also uh, they will be open to 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 sell and to exchange uh, directly with with travelers uh, uh, money and so also will be very important to get information to get uh, data from uh, from travelers and uh, another way another important thing will be the, the way to split payments is something that is uh, growing and this open also new business model because there are people that maybe can spend an amount of money if they if they have to pay uh, in one one shot uh, and if they can uh, split the payments maybe in uh, uh, three times or ten times uh, that the, the amount of money can grow and this is very important for travelers because uh, if you do a vacation one uh, one year uh, one one year you can maybe spend much more more if you can have this uh, rate and uh, also chatbots uh, are growing it's something that is related to artificial intelligence and this is uh, growing also in the way to exchange uh, information and, and uh, sell reservation and giving uh, uh, 24 hours a day information to whoever and this will be very very important for tourism also because uh, it's something that can be done in all the languages and in fact, uh, translation is something, uh, one of the most important application of artificial intelligence, specifically not only for uh, for text and the contents, but also uh, through uh, augmented reality that can maybe give uh, indication and information uh, thanks to uh, just uh, having a video, uh, taking a picture of, uh, of a sign. Another important topic is uh, metaverse maybe mostly for uh, business travel which will change as there will be uh, the chance to meet people and do meetings uh, business meetings uh, through our uh, virtual in a virtual way and this is will be probably something that will uh, completely change the way we'll do meeting even uh, in the same uh, building that for instance, and this is important also to think about uh, that uh, the business, the way that we will uh, offer, the sell the offer, maybe will change. And so we, we will have the chance to present uh, the um, hospitality and rooms uh, in, in a different way, in, in, in a kind of immersive way. And this is very important because it opens to uh, maybe some uh, uh, way of. Uh, uh, seeing and uh, personalizing the room before uh, buying it and so this will be the chance to uh, give uh, to the customer a new way to understand and to promote uh, and to to to, to, to see the, the hotel and the, the same room maybe a single room will be 
uh, sold uh, in the same way as uh, the single as uh, uh, an airways uh, is selling now uh, better places uh, at, at a higher price and this mean maybe this means that maybe we'll be in the same room with different avatars in the same time uh, looking at the room and so this can be uh, something uh, tricky because uh, it can maybe uh, give pressure to, to, to customer to, to choose and to book before the, the other one. And this is something also related to the way that we will uh, give assistance and the, the concierge, the virtual concierge will be uh, the same as a chatbot, 24 hours uh, ready for maybe you can centralize the, the concierge in a, for a uh, hotel chain in a, in a, in a, in a place and giving uh, assistance uh, where, wherever and whenever from a control room. And this means also that uh, the web will change also. We will uh, remember the old uh, website with the menu and uh, scrolling down pictures and content, having the chance to uh, see a destination, to, to see a place uh, using immersive web and also uh, focusing on uh, different uh, uh, places and uh, events on, on topics uh, of uh, destination. And this is very interesting also to uh, give uh, some uh, chance to uh, live an, an experience which is maybe uh, only a single day a, a year. And so it's not uh, easy to, to be there in that, in that uh, special date. And so this is important to use the immersive web to uh, give the chance to through the virtual reality to a kind of uh, meta tourism, uh, which is something that uh, is growing. And uh, also, hotel will maybe change this, the the layout of uh, the 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 hotel using uh, the screens and uh, and giving the immersive experience also in real uh, real time. And also, which what is important is to understand how big data and data can help to understand the behavior of uh, tourists. This is a, a quite old way. Google is uh, uh, able to uh, understand which are the most important, the most interesting places in a destination, just counting all the, the pictures that are taken in that place. And so this is uh, something that is, uh, is uh, quite easy to, to, to show. And also uh, another example, it's uh, a, a Baker uh, in, uh, in a small destination that count uh, the ski pass sold and so uh, produced uh, the bread uh, in relation to how many ski pass are sold in the week uh, before in the week before the, the weekend. So this is an, another example of small data. And uh, with the best example in terms of a smart destination is probably the destinos in the, the la red the, the destinos in tele, the turisticos intelligentes. In, in Spain, which is a, a huge number of, uh, I think, more than 300 uh, destin destinations that are uh, connected through a, a, a disciplinary list of uh, things to do and what to do. And so this is uh, something, it, it's a very good example. And uh, I am in the board, I, I'm the evaluation committee of uh, Smart Tourism, uh, European Capital of Smart Tourism, which uh, was uh, has been a very good experience uh, to understand uh, how the winner uh, were uh, as in uh, used the technology innovation to to become more smart uh, and so there are very very good example to see and there are four uh, topics uh, which is accessibility sustainability and digitalization obviously and uh, the valorization of cultural heritage uh, the, i think what is important to understand is the difference is between a smart city and a smart destination. A smart city is an interaction between the municipality and public administration with cities and, and businesses. Instead, smart destination is a, a um, most uh, uh, is an ecosystem where uh, operators, uh, administrators, uh, cultural, cultural heritage and services, uh, transportation is all, all uh, kind of uh, a relation. It's a community of uh, public and private uh, uh, operators. And this is focused, if is, is smart cities is focused on a, an administrative boundary, 
uh, smart destination is a territory, is a district. So think to, for instance, uh, an island is made by different uh, uh, public administration. ISCA in, in Italy is, uh, I think, more than six or seven uh, municipalities instead in the perception of the traveler. ISCA is a, a single destination. And so it's hard to explain to, to a traveler that he has to change uh, identity it, it cannot be recognized if it changed the, the municipality in terms of uh, for instance for health reason or for security reason and uh, the smart city is more focused on uh, efficiency and savings instead smart destination is focused on uh, competitiveness and uh, be um, ready to attract uh, incoming and uh, inbound uh, tourism and uh, if the smart city is uh, focused on uh, medium long term, so they uh, try to forecast and in terms of urbanistic act as uh, planning uh, the development in terms of understanding uh, where are services uh, growing, uh, the needs of transportation, public transportation, whatever. The smart destination has to be more uh, focused on real time. So if there is a uh, uh, an event, a uh, big event, or maybe if there is a, a for seasonality, there is a peaks uh, in uh, during the weekend uh, instead of during the week. Obviously, there there is a need of uh, services to to module the services uh, in terms of uh, water supplier, energy, uh, broadband uh, connectivity, and this is something that is. Uh, uh, important to react in real time because if there is a concentration of people and big flows in, in a place you have to uh, be ready to collect waste and uh, to collect and to give uh, public transportation services taxes and uh, in, uh, in real time these are some uh, dashboard of uh, data analysis of uh, some good example this is valencia and this is uh, sevilla this is something that give the, the stakeholders the chance to understand uh, where are uh, from where are um, are coming the the tourists uh, from which country and also valencia is doing a very important effort to understand those in terms of emissions uh, which is the most in interesting and low consumption of uh, uh, Carbon, carbon footprint, and this is very important that they are studying if it is more convenient to have a tourist coming from Barcelona by car or coming from Marseille uh, through a cruise, through a ship, and uh, and also maybe obviously by plane. And so this is something very interesting because uh, data can be uh, can give uh, the so-called uh, data-driven destination can give some important indication to be more effective and to be more obviously uh, sustainable. And sustainability is uh, the most important topic in terms also of marketing will be something that will uh, uh, relate uh, to choices. Uh, tourists will choice uh, uh, destination and hotel and hospitality in terms of uh, the perception and the, the, the the certification that uh, they are behave in a good uh, in good manner also to be sustainable so this means that uh, uh, we we have to we will have to be to to pay attention to protection of the environment obviously using uh, uh, energy um, uh, clean energy and also to improve local trade of uh, uh, agriculture and food and get, getting uh, from the, the, the territory the, the most local uh, production and also to protect uh, the heritage and uh, local cultural uh, sites and also obviously to be attention to reduce consumption so this means that we will be uh, we will to be more uh, to pay attention to reduce seasonality seasonality as seasonality is something that uh, uh, it uh, is a big effort for the destination in terms of uh, concentration of uh, uh, over tourism, for instance, and also we will to be uh, to involve the local community to be part of the, the to be part of the tourism industry, also to to create uh, to to 
to be more uh, to no frills with uh, citizens and tourists and also to to be attention to share revenues to the, the so-called leakage economic leakage of tourism which is not uh, which has not to be uh, exported to players uh, business players that are maybe uh, using the destination and maybe ma making business without leaving uh, uh, to, without creating local development uh, for the communities uh, business local business and also also to create a local employment and and to create the, the chance to to stay in a destination because we have a, we uh, we know that uh, people are maybe in a touristic destination are selling houses because of the good opportunity to transform it in uh, uh, bed and breakfast and uh, b and b and this means that you lose the authenticity of the, the destination so this means you have to give uh, the opportunity to do business and to live and to stay and not to go away another important topic is accessibility which is something that uh, is related not only to the disabled but also to uh, elder people and people uh, the, the age is something that uh, in the tourism will be an important part of the business and so uh, it means that uh, you have to be accessible by car by train and by plane and also to remove uh, physical barriers uh, for people in wheelchair and also for people with difficult of working or, or maybe for family with uh, uh, children and also give information in, in different languages uh, in uh, different uh, for uh, to be open uh, to different uh, social and different uh, provenience uh, for uh, for experiences and, and tours and also to give uh, use technology in iot and uh, technology of uh, sensor and also application using a smartphone to give uh, uh, orientation and path for blind people or maybe people with uh, uh, hearing impaired uh, of uh, intellectual disabilities so this is something that uh, technology will help a, a lot and uh, so to to close we will assist to an important uh, uh, the biggest important change uh, the new trend uh, we we are talking and it's very fast growing uh, it's something that is uh, growing uh, in a month every month we 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 see huge huge new uh, innovation and this is something not to be considered as a risk it's something is a big opportunity in tourism you can use uh, artificial intelligence in many different ways to understand the behavior to 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 write uh, contents to create uh, uh, videos to create uh, images and to better uh, reply to customers and also to use uh, uh, we saw chatbot was uh, an application, but we will see that uh, there is a chance to interact uh, in a different way, 24 hours a day, seven, seven days a week. And this is something that, uh, as, I, as I can say, uh, is, is not robotization, it's something that will help uh, and we give, will give more time to people that maybe are now uh, focused and uh, uh, to 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 a job it will be a big help to design experiences and it will be a big help to uh, give uh, answer and to uh, create a better experience to to the customer to the travelers and also i think uh, uh, will completely change also uh, the, the way that uh, in terms of marketing uh, we we will be present uh, on the market and so it's important to understand it it's more a matter of uh, doing uh, the right question instead of giving the right uh, answer so thank you very much this is uh, my book uh, tourism megatrend and uh, thank you very much for your attention